Well, it's far too windy to um, go outside and carry on with our sail. Oh yeah, much too windy. It's uh, <laughs> definitely blowing a gale. If you hear squeaking noises and things, it's just the fenders and ropes. It's all part of Salty Lass just wanting to join in and talk. So <laughs> yeah, but so what we decided to do was we decided to stay in today, and we thought that we would do the microphone cable thing. Now at the end of the last episode, you will have seen us yammering on about this microphone and the fact that the, the cable has gone brittle and wires are beginning to poke out. But since we spoke to you, since the replacement cable has arrived. So happy. It is. However, we've been told by certain members of the crew that they're determined to help us with this project. So she's been assisting me with penguin magic. So with penguin magic, we are now going to repair this and it's really, really easy to do. One, two, three, boom, penguin, boom, fixed. Just like that. <laughs> okay, so what really happened was somebody watched the last episode and said, I've got one of those radios and I don't use it anymore. You can have mine. Uh, so thank you, Trevor. That was lovely of you. Thank you very, very much. Now, as regards this, we're still going to fix it up. Um, we reckon we can do it and then we'll have two of these cables. So we'll have a spare one. And that means that we will have one in the toolbox to, to keep. Um, also, if it does work, it will show you that it is straightforward to fix and you will know what to do yourself with this because this is a common problem with these leads. If it turns out to be a complete pig's ear, well, then, you know, just pay out and do whatever. But the problem is that before you can start this project, you need to make sure you've got all the relevant tools to hand. So I'll hand you over to the surgeon. <laughs> Who will be conducting the surgery on the poor thing, Madame? Okay, Dr. so Doctor Gainer. So I need forceps. Forceps. Um, Avo. Multimeter. Multimeter. Okay, I need a soldering iron. Soldering iron. I need solder. Do you know how old this solder is? <laughs> no idea. It was bought from Maplin. Okay, so, but it still works. Best before 1986. <laughs> okay, carry on. <laughs> I also need some heat shrink, but the problem is, although I have heat shrink, I've got one piece that is bigger than the cable, and really, I need something a bit longer for that. You also need something a bit narrower than that. That's really too big. That's too big, so I've got... I've either got stuff that's too small or stuff that's too big mm -hmm. and I need it longer mm -hmm. um, for that. So I need to guy some more of that. I also need a solder sucker. Well, there's, um, there's, there's the bad news. <laughs> I don't have any. I don't have one. So the microphone's got to go and hold. We are ordering up the solder sucker and one or two other parts. So we've decided to have a quick look through our tools. Because some of these we inherited with the boat, some of these we've bought, some of these we've had for years and years ourselves. This, this oh, Lordy. particular <laughs> tool, which does need a oh, spring in it, is so old, it has my maiden name on it from when I, <laughs> before I even got married, and I got married over, well, whenever, <laughs> before I had kids and everything. Yep. And but, I, I think it has the project name on it too, doesn't it? It doesn't have the project name on it, but it does... Uh, but it is from when we met. Yeah. Because uh, we met on a particular project. So, and I was a, well, we were both single girls at the time, but there you go. Mm. That was a long yep. time ago. Um, we've also inherited things like this, which is like a, a screwdriver, which is a bit broken. There should be something in here, some sort of rubbery stuff. I took part of the handle's broken off. We got things like this, which is are decidedly crusty and doesn't quite fit. It's, a, it's an interchangeable end. Um... So we've decided, uh, these little jeweler screwdrivers, these get hammered, they get used for picking out everything. And I, these again, I have had for a long time. And they're basically done. They are. So we're, I'm going to get some new jeweler screwdrivers, but I'm th um, I thought it'd be a good time to look at my tools and basically some stuff can be junked and some stuff, you know, just sort of look at it and say, yes. That's a good piece of jewel. Uh, like all these little screwdrivers, it might be worth buying 
a new set of precision screwdrivers. And then you've got one nice neat set instead of all these pieces of junk. <laughs> <laughs> and they're not that expensive. No, and when you live on a boat and things like that, then having the right tools is very important because you don't want to be mucking about too much. You just want to get on with the job. I would say the most useful tools that we have we have purchased are the socket sets, mm -hmm. the Allen keys, and basically any ring spanner wrench you can get your hands on. Mm. The ratchety ones haven't been as useful as we'd hoped because it's got a big, big end. It's hard to get it into some spaces, but when you can get it in, these are good. They are great because obviously you can just put it onto the nut and you're not having to um, take it off and put it back on again. So that's when it's good. But like Bev says, because it's wide, um, you can't get it into a lot of spaces. These are probably one of the most useful things in the boat. The, the vice grips. Uh, it, just do not leave port without them. Really, if you don't have a pair, go out and bat today. I cannot say often enough, I can't say hard enough, how often these have really saved us in certain jobs. Mm. These are indispensable. Another tool which is frowned upon by proper, lots... Proper mechanics. By uh, proper mechanics. See, Wench, if you're watching this, I'm sure you're in the list for this one. I'm sure you're going to tell us that wrenches aren't on. <laughs> yeah, where, you know, is an adjustable <laughs> wrench. And yet it's so useful to have sometimes. Yeah, because sometimes, you know, you haven't got the right one. Yeah, like we could not get our hands on a 10 mil, sorry, a 12 mil short uh, spanner. So um, we now happen to have two 12 mil <laughs> short spanners and we won't quite say how they came to be, but they work and they fit. Just because a uh, angle grinder was needed to do angle, that. Angle grinders are good. Um, another thing which is very useful for getting tight spaces are wobbly bits. Good old universal joints. You can get in behind things and, and do all sorts of things. They are very useful. Now, with our wobbly bits, the nice thing about these is the fact that they also, some of them go from one size to another size. Mm -hmm. So the, any of the bits that we have on the sockets, um, you know, we can sort of manufacture a tool, which we have done on a number of occasions, mm -hmm. out of wobbly bits. So I really think that is a good one. That was a good present. So really, if, if you are going to take tools aboard, take screwdrivers, flat and, and uh, posies, because they're useful. Having short screwdrivers are quite useful because... There's a, um, lot, a lot of spaces you just can't get into. You can't get a, a good size screwdriver in. What a... What about these little packs of screwdrivers? These these things here where you, you get a handle and a couple of bits. The problem with that is that is so wobbly, it's just actually um, not suitable. Um, the the handle just moves around too much. Um, really? No, yeah, it just drop. Yeah, exactly. It just drops off. And, and that's not really useful. So I think I'll be getting rid of that. Um, I'd rather have tools that I'm going to use. For electrical work, we, we, we bought these um, and they are precision strippers. You can set the width of them. These have been, and, and crimpers, these have been really good. They have. Um, I mean, so I do have another set of strippers, um, which you can just adjust the nut on. And then these... They're really for a memento more than anything else because they're, they're too wobbly now. <laughs> so just to sum up, I would say if you're going to take tools aboard, take socket sets, take spanners, take Allen keys, take screwdrivers. Um, the other thing that I would recommend is if you're going to get some wire cutters, um, make sure that the wire cutter has got a flat back. Because the one thing when you're cutting uh, cable ties, mm. you want to get as close to um, the cable tie as possible. Otherwise and you leave a sharp edge sticking out. So and we're, we're going to see with the boring bit as we pick our way through all these and decide what we're going to do and the rest of it. And uh, if we do replace them, there'll be an update along very shortly. Oh, and oh. Um, <laughs> one of the things that I am updating <laughs> is this is my tool bag. No gainer, it's a wash bag. You put soap in it. <laughs> I know, but I have been using a wash bag 
for several years but I'm just going to replace it with a box so um, that is one thing I'll just sort out okay go for it well, not much has happened on Salty Lass in the last few days. No, the weather's been atrocious. But on the plus side, the reservoir project has come on very, very well. Um, people spend thousands on a water maker. We've gone for the more simple approach and we have started a reservoir in our dinghy. Now, as you can see here, it is working very, very well. Um, we've collected a lot of rainwater in the dinghy. Um, getting it into the tank is a, maybe going to be a trickier issue. But, you know, we have hopes. You've got to start... Start small, work up. So and you've got to sort of like think about what you're going to do and everything. But as a water catcher, it's doing a great job. As a water catcher, it's brilliant. Um, we have acquired some more tools, but I don't think it's going to help with the water catcher project. So we'll just put that to one side and we'll move swiftly on. Over to you. Yeah, um, I've been spending um, our Kofi supporters' money, and I hope um, the people who support us through Kofi like what I've been bought. So I bought some heat shrink so that I could get that done. Um, I bought some small cable ties. I have got loads and loads of cable ties, but I haven't got any small ones. I bought a solder socker. I bought a, um, an oil stone because um, one thing I really hate is uh, knives which aren't sharp. Yeah, we do have an old oil stone somewhere, but it's had big grooves cut into it over the years and it's not flat anymore. Yeah, so um, I got that. I got new... Um, uh, the jewellers. Jewellers, thank you. Jewellers uh, screwdriver. Um, some nicer jeweler's screwdrivers and i've also got some files well actually i grabbed the files because they were there beside this other line i thought oh they'll do nicely uh because again it's sharpening of knives but knives which are um got grooves in yeah i mean if we look at this if we look at this knife um it's mostly smooth, which we can do in the oilstone, but it also has serrated parts. And the only way really to get anything sharpened in here, it's flat on this side, is to use a triangular or a small circular file and sharpen them. Yeah. That way. And um, so uh, that'll be something. But when, uh, I, when I had the angle grinder out, by the way, I did blunt the point of this. Yeah. Because the last thing you want is this falling down in a dinghy and... Psh, mm. Or falling down on somebody, like a leg or an arm or something like that. But it's it's sharp on the edge, but it does have a blunt point. Mm. So, uh, but yeah. yeah so, um, uh, with no more ado, let's uh, get this uh, mic sorted. Okay. So, what are you doing now? Well, we're going to undo it first to see this. Uh... Okay. I have the. Uh... Everyone continuity. I've got the little magnet. Okay, so shall we tap out the uh, wires? Because um, the one thing we need to know is where the wires yeah. are. First things first, we need to draw a thing. circuit diagram. Can you pass us my glasses, my other glasses? Here you go. With the very wobbly so arm. got that, and then... So the first thing we're going to do, Beverly, is we're going to check the continuity here. I have continuity. I'm just going to check the wires because what can happen is you might have a false reading. None of those wires are connected. You put it on there and I'll go round this. might be easier than you oh, do. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Pin one. Okay, we've got something there in pin two. Uh, that is the red wire. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let me undo these. Um, oh, you might need a precision screwdriver. I know, I know. So excited. I might need that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, so we've got them all tapped out. We know what one goes Right, where. okay. So the ones we want are red. Let me put circles around them. Okay, white. And the shield. And that's it. Yeah, because don't forget, because look, the black doesn't go on to anything red white shield 
yeah, the green doesn't go on to anything. The blue doesn't go on to anything, and neither does the orange. You can see on the circuit. Okay, what colour goes in which one? Uh, red. White. Shield. And you'll put a diagram of this up on the blog? Of course. Right. Um, because um, if we need to do this... Um, well, also for people wanting to do it. Yes. Um, then that's what we need to know. Shall we make a full commitment to this now? Uh, yes. Now, what we've um, got here... Well, the uh, look how bad it's here. Oh, the housing is split. The cable is split. Yeah. That's all split. So I'm just going to cut here because uh, I don't need any of this. And um, this will be our wire that we'll um, attach to our new cable somewhere or other. So um, let's get to it. I thought I'd actually cut off the red because it's actually encased in the shield wire so hang on a minute there's two shield wires inside this cable yes the two shield wires are basically together however they've been wrapped round the different um the two cables so one shield wire is wrapped round the red and it was so wrapped round i actually thought i'd cut the red off and the other one is uh, wrapped round the green. It caused a panic. It did, because I thought I'd actually pulled off the red. We've got some of the new heat shrink. And before we start anything, I'm, I'm just going to put it on here. Because once we join the cables, we can't slide heat shrink over it. No, we can't. Beverly's uh, put it on the new one because that's less ragged. Yeah, these cables are less knackered. <laughs> <laughs> Not to put too fine a point, point on, on it. it. <laughs> okay. okay, more commitment. <sighs> yeah, well, it's cable's wrecked anyway. We're committed. Bye bye, cable. We're committed. She says, safe in the knowledge that she's got a spare one already on the on the radio. <laughs> <sighs> We're not going to uh, keep this as a spare because um, it's buggered. Oh, my soldering iron is starting to smell. <sighs> I feel like saying, uh, apart from the fact it's not in the morning, what's the... Uh, I love the smell of solder, solder in, in the, the morning. morning. <laughs> <laughs> what would Robin Williams say? Right. Oops. Okay. Let's just a should be able to... There you go. Ta-da. Ta-da. It's all off. Yep. We're going to obviously keep the uh, colours the same. Mm -hmm. um, which is going to be a problematic. Because they're different colours. Because they're different colours. <laughs> Okay, so we are currently using yellow in place of orange. We're using grey in place of blue. Yeah. Um, we have a green, apparently. Yeah. We have a black. Yes. We have a red. Yes. And we have a white. Yes. So we're sort of... So it's the brown that is extra. Okay, so the brown is extra. So we're not going to use that. Want me to hold it for you? Just stabilise it. You see okay? Yeah. You have a dry joint. Okay, let's uh, get. Okay. Just touch it and I'll pull it back down a, a, a little bit or just, just run it in. That's it. Okay. Leave it there, leave it there. That's a good joint. Right. Okay, so we've uh, soldered them all in. So what do we do now? Uh, well, basically, I want to um, get this um, screwed into place. Um, I've put a little bit of heat shrink over the shield. We have one uh, brown wire, which is extra. So I'm just going to cut that off and... Um, leave it. And leave yeah. it, pin it back. Yeah. That's all I'm going to do with that. Well, it's done and it's tested and it does work. I have to say, I think we could have uh, made it a bit neater. Uh, but realistically, you can hardly see the join. So um, I think uh, we're happy enough. And as a spare, because that's all it is going to be, I think um, it will do. But it was a bit of a beggar to sort it all out. It works. And that's always good. Here, allow me to give you this. 
Oh, thank you! Last mobile, last mobile. Radio check, please. Radio check complete. <laughs>